you Wednesday, Dollar Tree Day. I hope that you can hear me. We're working on that camera. Um, coming up soon, we're learning all the intricate little parts to using the device so that I can give you some videos. The only thing we're having trouble with is like navigating the microphone and trying to figure out how to adjust the sound so it doesn't sound like so robotic. So we're working on it. It will be a matter of weeks before I start using that. Hopefully you can hear me and I've connected. Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Day. I am going to start off with like just a little update. I have been so sick. I've been so, so sick. I haven't felt well in quite a while actually. And I can pretty much pull through, but I did go to the doctors the other day and had my first ever COVID test to see if there was anything going on with that. And thankfully I was negative. So thank God for that. But I do have a really horrible ear infection, sinus infection. And I just finished today my z pack that they prescribed me for an antibiotic and it has made me so so sick the last couple of days so if i look super pale and seem a little off i am trying i still want to make these hauls for you so i've continued to do it throughout the week and um i hope that you have tuned in and seen all the really incredible stuff that I have found. So I have more for you, of course. I am always going to have more for you. I love that dang Dollar Tree. I love that dang Dollar Tree. That is my happy place. That is my splurge. That is my, my odds and ends, my gifting, my party planning. That is my necessity. That's, that's everything that I need in my life, plus whatever I do for everybody else in my life toward them. That is my building and I love it so much. So I'm glad that there are so many people on YouTube that love it just as much as me. So let's get started with what I have found in the last couple of days. I do have stuff all in front of the camera. So if I bump it, I apologize. I'm just going to bend down here with my big old bun and I'm going to show you what I got. Now my son is graduating high school, not this June, but the following June. So I have been picking him things up as we've just kind of found them along the way. I saw this today and I had to get it. So this is stickers. It's just literally stickers, but they're puffy stickers. And it says, congrats, congrats grad with the little hat and some stars. And I love the puffiness to the stickers. So they are so, so cute. And I had to grab this because it doesn't say 2021 on it or anything like that. Like a lot of the graduation stuff does say, you know, specifically for this year's graduates. And this doesn't. So I picked it up so that we can use it next year in his graduation party. Then I found this most beautiful. Now this is from the dollar section. And this is one of the cards that I picked up for him for next year for his graduation. And I absolutely love the map on it. And it says, chart your own course. Then this comes with the envelope. And inside it says, best of luck on your new adventure grad. So, and it comes in this plastic wrap because it's also holding the envelope inside of it. And what a stunning graduation card so that we can give it to him with some nice memories inside of it and also some cash to go forward on his adventures and all of the successes that I know that he will have. And I am so thoroughly excited for him that it is coming up for him. Now I grabbed, sorry, bump the camera. I found some incredible scarves. And if you watch my videos and you've followed me all along, you know how much I love their scarves. I wear all of their scarves in my hair and look at these tropical, beautiful scarves for summertime wear with my big old bun and tie these around into a cute little bow on top of my head. That is so festive and fun. You know I love it. Um, so I grabbed that one. And then I grab this one too, right here, because this is so springy and so cute. Hold on one second. Richie, can you do me a favor and call Isaiah? He's calling into my phone right now. 
every time I start a video, like something happens, it never fails. So this again is another fashion scarf and this is all of these beautiful little flowers on here. And all of these look so pretty tied. I sometimes just wear my hair down and put the band around with the, with the little, um, you know, tails pulled down and I have my hair wrapped up in a bun. I tie it around my head, put a cute little bow on top and it looks adorable. Now also this scarf right here. I was going crazy in the store. I was so excited. So, so, so excited. Look at the pineapples and I love the striping in it. Oh, this one has to be like my favorite. I love it so much. It's so gorgeous. I love it. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it. And I have a pineapple shirt, so that's going to go so cute with it. Then this one right here that has the cactuses on it and the little pretty little pink pots with the beautiful striping on it as well. So that scarf right there is gonna look so cute, all tied up like a little old bow in my hair. Sometimes I just wear them to even clean around the house just to keep my hair back. You know I love my headbands, you know I do. So I grabbed those scarves. Then again, my husband's socks are killing it. And he says it's his sock game from the Dollar Tree and it's his sock game is strong. That's what he says. He loves, I started this years ago with him where I get him all of the really fun, festive, really neat looking socks from the Dollar Tree. He wears all of them, even to work and stuff. Like he sports his socks from the Dollar Tree and he loves them. So hello. And there's tacos on here. So there's some cute tacos. It's the men's nine, um, six to 12 size. So there's some tacos. These have some little donuts on it. Um, so cute and I love the dark gray. These have avocados. And even though we are not a family that likes avocados at all, don't judge us, we just don't like them. Um, these have some really cute avocados on it. And these he could actually maybe even wear during my Dollar Tree 40th birthday party that I'm celebrating in just a couple of months and um, putting on the theme of the Dollar Tree birthday for myself for my 40th. So if you don't know that, FYI, I'm having a 40th that is themed for the Dollar Tree because I chose that and that's what I want. So maybe he can wear these avocado socks for my Dollar Tree birthday. Um, and then these are so cute. These are like really, really lime, um, neon lime looking uh, color to the socks with the little limes on it. And I just love them. So he is going to be looking all kinds of tropical and fancy and I'm excited for it. Then I found these. I have been looking for these for years and years and years. I can't even tell you but I actually found them today and I'm excited. So I found these right here. These are letter boards and it comes with this, um, it comes with this little styrofoam type of little board that you can pop these letters into. And it says with 50 letters, express yourself with a custom message, decorate your desk, walls and more and this is from the special moments brand and i am going to write crazy days of Callan on this and then i got the stickers here to embellish around it because you know i can't just leave things black and white that's just like not gonna happen with me so i got these most absolutely gorgeous stickers these are 10 pieces in here they're kind of like they're 3D. They have a couple of different layers to them. So they pop up a little bit, the look of them. So after I write Crazy Days of Cal in here, I'm going to embellish around it with these most beautiful, beautiful flowers. And I got an extra one in case I decide to do something else with this one right here with another set of stickers. I love that crafter's square section and that's actually where I found those boards as well. 
and I know other people have hauled them like in the frame section so just keep your eye out for that because um, those are so awesome then I also found more of these and I love these my porch looks so tropical gardeny oh you just it's a little magical little garden oasis outside right now on my front deck my porch my garden out front I have everything all decked out sprung out and I have about six of these kind of wired all throughout my porch and people have actually stopped to ask me if that greenery like grew like that but these spiral out you can use these for so many different things but when you take this little tag off you can twist this this has a good bend to it so I spiraled them and I kind of just draped them throughout my front porch with all of my hanging uh, wreaths that I made with all Dollar Tree products and it looks so so vibrant pretty and gardeny and just calming and peaceful and zen and I love this particular one because it isn't just the solid green um, like the other one is it has like this really pretty white edging around the leaves and it really makes the green pop so I got two more of these um, just so that I would have them on hand in case I came up with like another craft and this is just specifically called garland so I grabbed two more of those because I'm always crafting with their florals and their their foliage and their wire wreath forms and hanging baskets and stuff so I was glad to have found two more of those because I haven't seen those since I hauled the last six. Now I got one of these little high cloche dome. I don't I don't know if that's how that says, but it's literally what you see the rosin um, during one of the Disney movies. I don't know what Beauty and the Beast. Sorry, I was drawing a blank. Um, it's the meds. <laughs> it's the Z pack. Uh, so I found just this one and I've never seen it in a Dollar Tree before and I may build some type of little scene inside into this dome. I've never tried it before so if I come up with something, you know, unique and different, I will share it with you guys. I'll share a picture during one of my videos or something to um, include that and show you guys how that came out. I also found these two signs right here. I really went upstairs the other day. I went through a lot of my buckets and bins and stuff of all of my decorations and my seasonal decorations and stuff. And I got rid of a ton of stuff so that I could welcome in the new stuff that I've been purchasing for this year's decorating. And I found these two little hanging, um, little wire just hangers. Yeah, it just says a hanging. And this one says welcome with this little blue truck. And this little blue truck is so beautiful. And it, the fenders and stuff, they actually pop out. This has like a little bit of a 3D effect to it. So here is the blue one. And then here is the red truck. And it says God bless America. So I just think that those are re really, really pretty. I may get two of the hooks that... Can stick to my front windows and put them on each of my front windows on my house as I'm decorating around my front garden for um, 4th of July. So, oh, I must have missed a pair of socks. So here is another pair and I absolutely love this blue. It's so beautiful. Bless you. That was my husband sneezing. We're a hot mess over here. Like, we are not doing well at all, um, but eggs and bacon, and I love the blue, and I actually have from Shein, I have a pair of earrings that one of the earrings, one of the stud earrings is a little pan of eggs that look just like this, and then the other earring that goes in that set is a spatula, and those are our going out to breakfast date breakfast um, earrings that I usually wear when we go out to breakfast together and now he can put on his bacon and egg socks and we're we're just gonna be killing it we're killing it and we're having fun with it and I love it so that's that and then I found this now this brought me right back to my childhood 
absolutely way, way back to my childhood. This ginormous bottle of bubbles right here, which is humongous. It is a 32 fluid ounce um, thing of bubbles. And then this right here is from, what grade is this? Sorry, I just whacked you one. Um, let's see, this is Bubble Fun, and it's a humongous bubble maker. That's literally what it says. And it says, create long giant bubbles, contains one blue bubble wand, and the, yeah, so that's what it says, and this is what it does on the packaging, but we had this when I was little, and my mom used to get like this big, huge tub, put it in the middle of the yard, so fill it with bubble solution, and then she used to get rope, and we used to twirl it and swirl it inside of the solution, and then I used to run around my yard with it and make the most beautiful rainbow filled bubbles that were humongous and used to follow me along throughout the yard and then she would take them and she would run with them and I would run through them and who doesn't love bubbles I'm gonna be 40 and I still want to play with bubbles so I got this for like one summer day when we're all outside running through sprinklers and just enjoying a nice day and we're gonna do bubbles yes I don't even care if it's just me. I'll do bubbles by myself. I can do bubbles by myself and I'm perfectly fine with it. So I got these bubbles and that rope and I'm gonna be five again on that day. I'm gonna be five. I'm just gonna be five. So I'm excited for that. So, so excited. I'm gonna lift this camera up for one second so I can get this plate out. Now I told you in the last haul that I hauled a uh, flamingo plastic plate that's coming out in the new summer like um, plate arrangements and things like that that I was going to use that particular flamingo plate to display as just like a summer addition for decorations inside my house on one of their plate holders I got this one plate to do the same thing because I just loved it and it's so pretty and I'm probably just going to put this in another plate holder and put it next to the flamingo plates and make a whole arrangements of decorative plates on my counter. I always decorated with plates. I used to have plate holders mounted onto the wall at my old houses and stuff when I was young and I used to display all of my decorative plates. I haven't done that for so long but I love decorating with plates. So even though um, I did not get all four, I only got one of mango one and one of this one because I'm decorating with them not eating off of them so I love this one as well as the flamingo one that I hauled the other day and I grabbed that then I also showed you that I got a whole fruit arrangement of little party plates well today I found the lime wedge ones and there's 12 plates in here and here's the lime ones so this is number four out of the fruit plates that I hauled the other day and I love the lime and so one night as I told you in the other video we're going to do a fruit salad bar for dinner one night and have a blast with it if you want to hear all the details that I put into what I was going to do for a fruit salad night watch my past haul this past uh, what is today this past Monday and um, it's either Monday or Saturday's haul and I'm going to do a fruit salad dinner party night and these plates are gonna look so cute on the table for that now I also got some more cards and Mother's Day is coming up sorry I'm bending down again um, sorry you like my bun you like my big old bun <laughs> um, I got some more cards and these I never buy cards anywhere else I've told you that so many times for any holiday, any occasion, I always go to the Dollar Tree because they either have the two for a dollar um, cards or they have the one dollar cards and they're all fantastic. They are truly all fantastic. Now, every single one of these cards came with a pink, um, came with a pink envelope, so I'm not going to you know show you every envelope they all look like this and it does say hallmark across the envelope so they all came with pink envelopes i'm gonna put the envelopes over there so i don't lose them 
Now for Mother's Day, I got this card and these were the 50 cent cards. So that card right there, it's so beautiful. Inside it has a beautiful little saying. There's even like a little prayer in there. So that's that card. Then I got this one, which this one I am going to read to you. And it has all those clothes and laundry on the front with a little laundry detergent, which I thought was the cutest thing ever little cleaner all those different clothes and it says motherhood is loads of fun hang in there mama happy mother's day come to me all who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest matthew eleven twenty eight. so that's this card right here and that one definitely is my favorite um i also got this beautiful beautiful one as well if you've never looked at their cards i could stand there all day and show you their most beautiful cards for every occasion i mean you can even pick up the packages of cards that are like thank you cards and welcome cards and they have blank cards and baby shower cards and party you know cards and i just love them and now right here i got three of this particular one because it was so funny and so it's this woman on there right and it says motherhood a summary Holy crap, it's hard. The end. <laughs> so I got three of these and it says Happy Mother's Day to someone who makes it look easy. So I grabbed three of those because that was just like the funniest card I've ever seen. And her face like tells it all because motherhood is super difficult and it is like not for the weary. It really truly isn't. And I'm not saying that because I had a difficult child and I'm not just saying that because he's my child. My son Isaiah has ha been good natured and happy and well since he was little. Like he's had a great heart, a great personality, a compassionate, sweet, loving, just driven and fun and bubbly. And he's always been really well mannered and well natured. And I've been a really, really firm parent in discipline and in love so i am very lucky but parenting is hard on that journey from the minute that they are born to the minute that you know they're old and gray with us you are going to be a parent you know and love and protect them and look after them and it never ends and parenting is a commitment that is forever so it's not easy and i commend all of us for taking that journey because i only have one but there are a lot of big families that i know and love personally and my hat's off to you i had one and i'm exhausted so that's boop you did it girl <laughs> um so anyways back to this i did get another metal flag pole and this is the really big one because i have several new flags that i want to hang outside and it comes with this little top right here that you slide the flag on and then you stick the stake in the ground and you're good to go and this is the big one and this is the 35.5 inch stake right here so there's that i just knocked a bunch of stuff down but we'll deal with that later now let's see where we want to go from here because we're already at 24 minutes you know how fast these videos go when i want to hang out with you and i don't want to keep you super long because i know that people get tired even though you know what i love long videos personally myself the people that i watch the longer the better i put them on even if i'm busy i'll put them on i'll watch them as i'm like running around the house and cleaning or whatever i watch them like on my break just to relax and listen to their voice and watch what they're doing so i love long videos and if i need to stop it i'll just start it later and finish it off but i know a lot of people you know waver with what they feel about long videos these right here i am so excited to have found these two clips right here in this brand that i've never seen come across the dollar tree this says sincerely jewels by the 
scrunchy brand scrunchy brand i don't really know how to say it but just the packaging alone is absolutely beautiful and these clips with that marbleized like design on them are just stunning and i love this pink one with those colors in it these are gorgeous so my eye is going to be scanning and wondering and waiting and watching for any other um material or you know like bows or scrunchies or whatever else may come out in this line because if i got a bunch of these hair accessories put some you know of the updated really really good l'oreal um hair products that have been coming out that i showed you this stuff in the last couple of hauls that i've hauled this is the mousse i can make a whole entire hair basket for somebody for mother's day so i am going to watch out for more on this level to come out and i hope it does because i can make a whole cute basket and if i do i will most certainly share it with you then i found these two sheet masks right here and this one says glowing skin sheet mask with egg whites which is really cool so i can't wait to try that then this one is from spa life and it's shaped like a little perfume bottle which is awesome it says sugar plus rose hip hydrating facial mask so i can't wait to try that as well and those two they are coming out with some really neat and cool face masks and i'm excited about it because if i can get a bunch of really cool interesting unusual unique type of face masks put in some of those facial wipes from the bolero brand that i told you in the last couple of weeks that i loved so so much and i did a review video on them maybe last week or the week before make a whole basket of skincare night kit for somebody from mother's day so i'm really keeping my eye on the new and updated face masks that are coming out then I found this right here, which I thought was too adorable to live there. And it had an entire um, hanging right by the registers little setup with all these different little eyeglass cases with different types of animals to them. And I picked her up because of her big blue eyes and I just thought she was gorgeous. So if you put open this up, put your glasses inside, snap them in. This will hold your glasses. Then it has the little loop here. You can hang them, you know, somewhere in your car so that you have them with you all the time. If you don't have one of those little compartments to put your eyeglasses in or your sunglasses in to keep in the car. I just thought that that was so cute. Or if your kids like to wear sunglasses and, you know, they lose them all the time when they're not wearing them and you have to be out at the park with them or you're at an amusement park and whatever and you're you're trying to keep their things contained and on you you can hook this to your purse or something with their glasses inside and keep them with you and safe so i thought that these were so cute but they had so many different animals and i grabbed that one just that one because i'll put my own glasses in it and I hook them over my little handlebar in the car so that i can keep them because i have like four or five different pairs of prescription eyeglasses in the car and there's not enough space to store them so i'll probably just whip those up there and fasten them onto something then in the summer toy section i found these sand toys right here but what i really thought was awesome was this is a sailboat and sailboats are just though they're kind of hard to come by for a dollar and we used to love going to little lakes and ponds and things like that and sailing our little sailboats around, sticking a Barbie on it and letting them float, you know, when we were playing dolls at the beach and stuff. And it comes with these two really cute little sand toy molds that you can pack some sand in and make a little sand fish and a little, a little duck sand, yeah, um, little mold in there. But the sailboat, sailboat is what got me i think that that's really cool so i picked that up i have a lot of little short people in my life that i hang out with 
and we're going to have plenty of beach days coming up and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So I'm excited to have those on hand. I'm going to show you probably another maybe five items and then we're going to wrap this up for Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul. My husband doing those puzzles for me is making me really happy and he's so into it and I'm loving how excited he is about his Dollar Tree puzzle hobby. So we picked this one up because I am an ocean girl and I grabbed that one because I just loved the scene on it. He has a few more frames so we have to find some more 11 by 14 frames to be able to continue to put these puzzles in a frame as he's done. So we're still hunting for that. A hundred piece puzzle right here with another um, Ariel and Flounder little image to it. That's what it's going to look like when it comes together. You know I love that girl. You know that that girl is my heart right there. I love her. And then he picked this one out today. And I, and I thought it was so cute. So he's going to put that together for himself. We both work in warehouse type of settings. I work as a floral bouquet designer, if you want to say. Or, you know, I make bouquets for my career uh, through a distributor that distributes the bouquets throughout stores across everywhere. And he works on another end. I can't talk about his because it's kind of like government related. But um, we always have our delivery trucks pulling up to the bays. And so these big delivery trucks are a big part of our career life. So he picked that up for himself and it was really vibrant and pretty. Then I also found this cat book right here and I bought this for my aunt and it's Chicken Soup for the Soul, My Cat's Life. 101 stories about all the ages and stages of our feline family members. So she has two kitties and I did get this for her. It's a really, really thick book. And Chicken Soup for the Soul was always so popular when I was young. And I don't know where they went, but they've been popping up at the Dollar Tree left and right. And I had to get that for her. Then I got her kitty a little toy. And I thought that these were really cool because I've never seen these before. It has a little ball in it so that when they're batting it around, you can hear it tinkling around. And this is just a cat toy, but it's a goldfish. Then they have a, had a couple of other different types of fish, but I did get the goldfish for her to go with the book and to now start building on to her little gift that I can send her. So that's it. Happy Wednesday, Dollar Tree Day. I am going to go try to feel better. It has been a long day and I am pooped out. I am pooped right out. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, blessed, amazing, fantastic, healthy, happy, whole, and kind to everybody rest of your week. And I will see you in Saturday's Dollar Tree Haul. I'm excited for it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below. You know I love connecting with you. And it makes it just makes me so happy. And that's that's all I want to be. So I hope that you're all wonderful for the next couple of days and I will see you in a couple. Bye everyone. Have a great week.